good match. Let's end out this elimination bracket with a fantastic series as well. The LA Thieves taking on the Minnesota Rocker. No pressure, Jay. Five spree, and now here come the Thieves. So far, this has been a great hold, but the Thieves, they find the opening, pushing through Shandy. You just have to win the next couple of gunfights. Envoy's able to find two. Last player closest to the point is going to be Cammy. He gets taken care wow. of. Octane finds the final. Octane finds three, and that's going to be LA Thieves with the final. Has begun. Is not really rotated a whole lot, but when it comes to breaking, they are top of the league and showcasing why that is their strong suit. A lovely three for one exchange. Answer. So many times it's been the SMG line. Can they do it again? A full on headbutt right now in the bar. And Octane able to come away with one. Octane able to come away oh. with two. Trying to take Minnesota down himself. The Nate over the top very well could decide how this hard point goes. Another triple in the feed for Benjamin Bance Rocker. You can leave him look in. Rocker, they've got to break. They've got to rush forward here through kitchen with Kenny. Able to stun away with two. Envoy on the other direction. He eventually drops. So it is Rocker who are able to jump in for a moment. But Jay, the last the Thieves, they've only got a few more points in order for this game to be done and dusted. And Jay, I think that's what the communication is right now for them. Hey, how do we want to jump in? Okay, it's just Envoy. Give him the gun, give him the nade, and he will do the rest. Sensational, sensational hard point there from the Thieves in game one. And Jay, that is just the way that they have looked so much throughout this tournament and oh so often in this elimination bracket. Information at your game. We'll see if Rocker can reply, starting things off on the attacking end. As we jump into game number two, already for Minnesota, that hard point out of sight, out of mind, but quickly into the reticle they fly with Traza and Kenny. That is a quick triple, oh and that <laughs> is a statement round. Could be the only one to knock on the door. Hello, is the kitchen open? Nope, not today. Octane, well, he does have a sniper. This could be cool. I'm not so sure about the round success, though. <laughs> that was pretty cool, Jay. I'll be honest. I was going to advance. Looking to be hyper-aggressive. Octane able to spot him. That is great work from the Thieves to pretty much set a trap and wait for someone to walk through. That is three players who have now fallen last man up as a Tatch. He has the opportunity to get it done. Nothing but his wits and his rifle remain. 25 seconds still to go. Is he going to get the read on the Tatch? You bet he does. One more to go. Afro is in a slower game up to this point. Needs a big round. He's trying to read where Octane has gone, but he's not left. He's remained in the same position. Now time continues to tick, and Afro is not going to be able to find him. A 1v2 that they needed. And back towards this A-bomb. Draza's holding that cross. Will patience pay off? It absolutely could. It absolutely could. But Draza, he gets found out. Now it's on to Octane. He's able to find one. Now with a five spray. 25 seconds left, and the Minnesota Rocker are trying to hunt down where Sam LaRue has gone, and with that, the bomb is off to the races. Arctane now makes it six. He's gonna be on the defuse. He might be too late. Be too he late. already might be too late for this. Here comes Bance, but Arctane watching over for the defuse. And get towards this site. So they're able to get the hit marker with the nade onto Kenny. They find the kill onto Arctane. Kenny in the oh. 1v1, he can't clutch it. He was damaged by the nade. It's a very hot Thieves team. Would not spell well for them. It's a trade off the rip, but thankfully Envoy, if you are a Thieves fan, ends up cutting away Bant. So the SMG duo, the playmakers for Minnesota, have quickly fallen. Oh, and then the task gets picked. Draza finds the final kill. LA Thieves. Clutch up in the search to destroy. Take it in a 6-4 fashion. The second tick is about to come in. All of LA going to put a pressure on towards B. They want to get this one out of the way. The stack is there, and that's going to be B. Done and dusted. Time is going to be well, extended by a minute. Octane finds two, and now that's three dead already. It's going to be Cammy. Farthest pushed up player. Can he make a difference? Straza with that SMG in hand. The fast oh! has arrived, as that will be three. First segment already in, and A as Rocker are scrambling. Staying alive on A, allowing his teammates to get 
into the play. But the sticky comes in. Afro is able to find that kill. Minnesota, they're finding their way out. At least start for now. A big 1v1. Bance is able to take that, thankfully, with the nade. So Envoy, a heat check, but five seconds only remain. That's going to be three in the feed. Can Rocker dive onto this point, or will Octane cause some more heartbreak? Oh, there's no time left. Minnesota, they die off of that A zone. Could be the entire oh, objective, what? especially if Envoy's oh. fights like that. He is skating right now on Fortress. Give him another one. Now sitting on four in a row, 21 and nine. I was gonna say, he's just basically a silhouette in the sunset now. His envoy finds another one, already makes his way into bottom art. That's three dead in the feed. Attach has to try to go big. Attach in the perfect position, is able to take down two. Bans with the third. They shut down the push from LA. 35 seconds and only five lives remaining on the side of LA. To ben. But the only thing now is that they definitely would not have that defense going into round number five as LA Thieves have now completed nine segments. The captain, right now from Minnesota, drops off the start. Envoy, great team fire coming in from the Thieves. We said it's going to come down to this oh, opening man. wave. And Rocker, they're dropping like flies. They're dropping like flies, Envoy. He watches three players cross. He's able to oh. take down two. He's just making plays. 30 and 12, Lando. Unbelievable performance. Attach is gone. Bance, still the sole member alive. 20 seconds left, and he drops. Oh, he drops, and now it's all onto Afro. The farthest player pushed up. He's able to stop the clock, but from the top ropes, Kenny comes flying, able to take him down 10 seconds away from LA, making it to that grand final. Oh, it looks like it is going to be the Thieves to come away with the 3 0. Is it about to be again? And yes, it will be. The heroic run through the elimination bracket continues. As you can mark it up, now 15 and 1.